So I've happened upon this realization recently. Um, as I've picked up different opportunities and jobs and things, I found new things to complain about or new things that, you know, to comment on is a much nicer term. Like, for example, I don't think many... Well, it's also given me an appreciation for many of the modern conveniences we take for granted. Because, for example, when it comes to food, you don't know how much crap those farmers have to swim through all the time in order to be able to sell the food to you or to the store where you buy it from. So there are like hoops that they have to jump through with like the FDA and things. And then you kind of start to realize that like when there are disease issues, who's the one that gets blamed? Usually the farmer. You could have an Ebola breakout in some, ve like, lettuce or something, and usually the one that gets blamed is the farmer. Wh but the farmer could have done everything he could to prevent that, but then in the grocery store, you get these people that put their grubby hands all over everything, put it back on the shelf, bruise it up, and find another one to put their grubby hands all over. And that's kind of one thing where I've like, with things like this, I've changed some of my habits and the way I do things. Like I will eyeball a piece of fruit or something before I pick it up and put it in my bag. So I won't even like touch it. And then I'll add it to my inventory that I'm picking up. I mean, the next thing that there is is the whole thing where... So today I had a couple deliveries. It's kind of been the last couple of days where someone forgot to put... A, so this trailer park is listed as like the same address, street address. Well, one street address, and then each trailer has its own little number inside of the trailer park. So you'd go to this one street address, basically, and then you gotta go down and sift through the trailer numbers after that. So I've gotta pull up the listing, usually, to, which is easier. And then I figure out which trailer I go to based on the numbers that show up in the listing of packages for that, oh, stop, per se. Because it counts as one stop, even though it's, like, multiple trailers. But there were a couple that I had today that were, had no trailer number. They weren't in the itinerary, and they weren't on the packages. But what I had to end up doing was going to the office to see if the nice lady there could actually direct me in the right direction. And this time around, she was able to. I had one delivery where I couldn't quite nail it down. <coughs> and she couldn't tell me where it was either. So luckily these two, she was able to help me with. But... That's kind of turned into one thing, is like when there's like a wrong address, like a missing detail in the address, it just really kind of, uh. And then there was another day where I had a package, it was a misload, but it was also an address that I couldn't quite find. So it may have been an incorrectly input address or something. But when, uh, oh, the sorters had sorted it. They had sorted it into my route and mislabeled it. So basically, I had they hadn't really read the address, 
And even the address that they had labeled it as didn't exist. So I was literally like stuck, like the sad, like this, no, nothing. I couldn't do anything with it. So I had to bring it back. And I don't like bringing stuff back because it means I have to go back to the trailer and like put stuff back in it instead of like having it emptied. But in some ways it does make my job easier. So it's kind of an appreciation where 90% of the time they get it right and load everything up right. That's usually what most people get is they get their stuff on time and everything. But sometimes you hit those moments where your package doesn't come on time because it wasn't sorted right. The last few days there have been like miss sorts and things like or miss loads and things like that. Sorting had it, like, numbered in the right route, but they loaded it up into the wrong spot. So it's interesting to see how many different things we don't see in the background. Like, that's one thing, too, is... There's a lot we don't see that goes on in the background that sometimes we complain about and we've taken for granted. And because it's so easy to complain about it, we just do that instead of like looking at it like how many hands and different things it has to go through. And I mean, yeah, I still have my complaints about things and I still complain how dumb things are, but I think Usually, it's um, brain cell stuff. And yeah, there are some things where it's like, it's a really simple job. It really isn't that hard. But like I said, we don't always see what's in the background and whatnot. I mean, we don't know how long the sorters have been awake all night, but I mean, that's a thing. But it's definitely something to be grateful for when the process works. And when the process has hiccups, it's definitely something where we need to, we can sit back and be like, okay, you know, the once in a million, like hundred time when, the once in a hundred, not once in a million, once in a hundred time when it doesn't quite work out, we can still appreciate the other times that it did work out well. We can appreciate the process of gas prices dropping, even though we don't like some of the things going into it. So, you know... And in the end, There's a lot that we don't see, and we take all that for granted. We And when people complain about, like, certain things, like, this just isn't enough, or this, that, and the other, they don't know, they don't take into account the things going on so that they can have what they have. So your job may suck, but you don't see the process that goes into everybody that works with you on that job. And yeah, there are some cases where it could feasibly be done where you could get paid more and that's something to take up with someone else. But there are other situations where sometimes you can't get paid more because so much of the business budget is put into the benefits and things that you have. So I mean, sometimes we just have to go and look and ask, okay, what am I not understanding? What am I not seeing in the process that you can help me understand? And it might add another level of appreciation onto the things that you do. Like, what do you do for the business and how much of the business budget goes into these things 
and to other people and their paychecks and having that level of transparency would maybe help employ some people to be more motivated to work harder. But we've got so many taboos in business that it's like, oh, well, uh, uh, and yeah, there might be reasons for that because it means that that kind of transparency reveals your nepotistic behaviors. But other times when done, when you're doing the business right, it means that you're motivating your people to work harder. So, you know, a lot of hard work that goes into it, a lot of crazy things. There's some things that we see in the background that really don't make much sense and really are counteractive. So just kind of, if you look into the background, look at what's going on, and then go from there, I think you can take a better appreciation for it or be better able to criticize what's going on. So yeah, um, help my background, you know, merch and stuff. Um, I'm still kind of working on the site. So that's coming together a little bit more and more at a time. So I'm excited for that and more updates to come. Um, join the Discord, scream at me because I said something bad and you didn't like. And yeah. Have a good one.